This video quickly introduces what probability theory is. Probability theory is a mathematical study of processes that include uncertainty. In probability theory, we talk about probabilities being expressed over a range of zero, meaning that it definitely will not happen, to one, meaning that it certainly will happen. Thinking about events in probabilities like this enables us to have models of future non-deterministic events based on historical data. So this means that we can take some data that we've collected about some related events, and then we can build a model to try to predict future events or events that are outside of our training sample. And then we can get probabilities between zero and one that will guide the probability of that future non-deterministic event. One of the major ways of using probability theory to have these kinds of models that are trying to predict non-deterministic events is statistics. And so we will talk about statistics in great detail in the subsequent subject in my Machine Learning Foundation series. So right now, we're undertaking a subject on probability and information theory. The next subject will be an intro to stats, and so we'll get into statistics then. But at a high level, stats enables us to quantify our confidence in inferences that we make based on probabilistic events. So if you've got some non-deterministic probabilistic events and you want to make some inferences about them, statistics allows us to have a clear quantity to give us confidence on those inferences. So for example, we can quantify what is the probability that something is by chance or actually a meaningful observation. And following on from that, statistics also provides us with a framework for supporting or rejecting hypotheses. So when you collect data, you could use that to either try to confirm or deny some hypothesis that you have about how the world works. And this could be some big scientific hypothesis, or it could be a relatively simple product decision, such as whether you should go with email template A or email template B. So from very, very, very big questions in biology and chemistry, all the way to product decisions that you could be making on a day-to-day -day basis, statistics can be helping you support or reject the hypotheses that you have about something in the world. Alongside statistics, another approach that enables us to model non-deterministic events based on historical data is machine learning. And so machine learning is, of course, what we are learning about in ways we're covering the foundations of machine learning anyway, the critical foundational subjects underlying machine learning throughout my Machine Learning Foundation series. And some actual machine learning does get sprinkled in because this is an applied course on the foundational subjects underlying machine learning. So lots and lots of machine learning covered in my Machine Learning Foundation series. And this is a modeling approach that scales to very large data sets and data sets that we can say are high dimensional, meaning that we have lots of different columns of data, say. So if you had a two-dimensional table of your data, then the rows would typically represent different observations of some event, and the columns would be the dimensions of all of those instances of events. And so when we have a large data set or we have high dimensional data, then machine learning might be more applicable than statistics in those scenarios. All right, so that gives you a good sense of why we're learning probability theory, because it's super useful for both stats and machine learning. Some of the key concepts in probability theory are the law of large numbers, and we're going to explore the law of large numbers in a hands-on code demo shortly in this video series. Other key concepts are random variables, which we will be covering very soon in this series. Uh, probability distributions, which we will talk about a lot in both the first segment of videos in the series as well as the second segment later on. And we'll talk about the central limit theorem, which is a super cool, mind-bending probability concept that sees lots of applications in stats and machine learning. And we'll talk about that later on in the second segment of videos coming up.
in this probability theory subject. Nice. So now that you've had a high-level orientation to probability theory and its centrality within statistics and machine learning, in the next video, we'll actually start learning some probability theory um, theory. <laughs>